unit for functions of several variables. For function of several variables, what do you mean by functions of several variables? So we all know that the function of a single variable, for example, y equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. So y is a function, I'll take it as f of x. So y equal to f of x, which is a function of a variable x. Only one independent variable. So this is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable. So y depends on only one independent variable x. So we call it is a function of a single variable. Suppose a function has a more than one independent variable, that functions are called the functions of several variables. So for example, f of x comma y. I take it as this u equal to x cube plus y cube plus r minus 3xy. It is are two independent variables x and y. Whenever the functions has more than one independent variable, we call it as a functions of several variables. Right? Okay. Now we are all familiar with uh, derivatives. So ordinary derivative and the partial derivative. So when it comes to ordinary derivative, suppose a function has only one independent variable, we go for a ordinary derivative. That means, uh, so what do you mean by a derivative, a rate of change of an a dependent variable with respect to an independent variable, so for example, dy by dx. That means a rate of change of y with respect to x. That means what? So you have differentiate, uh, differentiate with respect to x and around 2x plus y. So if it is a function of only one variable, we go for an ordinary derivation. So if it is a more than one independent variable, we go for a partial differentiation. That means uh, dou u by dou x. So here you differentiate u partially with respect to x, so keeping other variable as constant. So for example, I can give one example and you can understand it. So volume of a con another so 1 by 3 pi r squared h. So it is a function of um, two variables. So volume depends on radius and height. So volume on the V, I take it as V, this V is a dependent variable, depends on radius and height. But rate of change of volume, if you the volume of change, either you can increase or decrease the radius, keeping height as constant, or you can keep the radius constant, and you vary the height, then we can change the volume. That means what volume depends on both radius and height. So, dou V by dou R, I mean a rate of change of volume with respect to radius keeping height as constant. So, 1 by 3 pi into dou R into H. So, dou V by dou H, Shabdina, rate of change of volume with respect to height, so keeping radius as constant. So, 1 by 3 pi R square into 1. So, this is the partial derivative. So whenever the function has more than one independent variable, so we can go for a partial derivative. So dou u by dx. So here what do you mean dou u by dou x? No again. So 3x squared. So these are constants. With respect to u, so differentiate partially with respect to x, keeping y as constant. So with respect to exponent number, y constant, so it is 0 minus here 3a is a constant, y is also constant and differentiate x 1. So 3x squared minus 3y. So this is dou u by dou x. Then dou u by dou y. So differentiate partially with respect to y keeping x as constant. This is 0 plus 3y squared minus 3x into 1. So 3y squared minus 3x. So these are dou u by dou x. So these are basic concept of the different partial differentiation and the differentiation it comes under, if it is a partial derivative, it comes under functions of several variables. If it is an ordinary derivative, it comes under a single variable. Right? Now we go for in detail of partial differentiation. Right? So partial derivative. For a question. 
f equal to x power 4 plus 2x squared y minus x squared plus 3y squared. So, it is a function of two independent variable x and y. So, we have to find out the partial derivatives. Is these two are the first order partial derivatives, dou f by dou x, dou f by dou y. And these three are as second order partial derivative. And these four values are a third order partial derivatives. First, we go for one by one. For given u equals or f equals x power 4 plus 2x squared y minus x cubed plus 3y squared. Take it as this equation number 1. For n of us to go, you know, dou f by dou x. So, what do you mean by dou f by dou x? So, differentiate with partially with respect to x, keeping y as constant. So, differentiate partially with respect to x, keeping y as constant. For so, dou f by dou x, for differentiate with respect to x, so x power 4 differentiate panna, 4x cube. So, here 2 is constant, y is also constant. So, 2y into x differentiate x squared, 2x, then minus 3x squared. So, this is constant, so 0. So, this is bond dou f by dou x. Next, dou f by dou y. So, differentiate 1 partially with respect to y, keeping y as constant, sorry, x as constant. When the equation 1 with respect to y, keeping x as constant. Now, we are going to f by dou y. So, dou f by dou y. So, either with respect to y, x is constant. So, this is 0 plus, either differentiate 2x squared constant, differentiate y1, and this is 0. So, differentiate this, so 3 into 2y. 2x squared plus 6y. This is the dou f by dou y. So, these two are the first order partial derivative. Right? Now, the second order. Dou squared f by dou x squared. So, dou squared f by dou x squared and uh, dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. Yeah. So, dou squared of by dou x squared of dinner, dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. When our own dou by dou x of dou f by dou x. So, dou f by dou x, you can do it. So, 4x cube plus 4xy minus 3x squared. So, in the expression, you know, you differentiate with partially with respect to x keeping y as constant. So, we differentiate with respect to x when we're on 12x squared plus 4 and y are constant. You differentiate x 1 then minus 6x. Right. This is dou squared f by dou x squared. So, dou squared f by dou x dou y. So, we need an and dou by dou x of dou f by dou y. When we're on dou by dou x of dou f by dou y, you can do it. 2x squared plus 6y. So, either number no differentiate with respect to x, so keeping y as constant. For 2x squared, the differentiate point on 2x, 2 into for 4x y plus Differentiate x, this is a constant, so it's 0. It is equal to 4x. This is another dou squared f by dou x dou y. Next, the next one, dou squared f by dou y squared. So, dou squared f by dou y squared and uh, dou by dou y of dou f by dou y. Dou by dou y of dou f by dou y is nothing but dou squared f by dou y squared. So, dou by dou y of dou f by dou y. What is that? 2x squared plus 6y. You differentiate with respect to y partially, keeping x as constant. So, this is 0. 
we differentiate it. So, 6 into 1 this is equal to 6. So, these are dou squared of by dou y squared. So, these two are the first order derivatives and these three are the second order derivatives. Now, the third order. So, third order derivative for dou cube f by dou x cube. For dou cube f by dou x cube, na na, dou by dou x of dou squared f by dou x squared. Na. Dou cube f by dou x cube na na, dou by dou x of dou squared f by dou x squared. For dou by dou x of dou squared of by dou x squared, you can write it down. What is that? Twelve x squared plus four y minus six x. You differentiate with respect to x. So twenty four x. This is constant zero, and this is six into one. So twenty four x minus six. That is dou cube f by dou x cube. Now dou cube f by dou x squared dou y. So it is nothing but dou by dou x of dou squared f by dou x dou y. Right? Dou cube of by dou x squared dou y. This nothing but dou by dou x of dou squared of by dou x dou y. For dou by dou x of dou squared of by dou x dou y. Another four x. So differentiate with respect to x. Four. Right? Next, dou cube of by Do x do y square. This is nothing but one. Do by do x of do do square of by do y square. So do by do x of do square of by do y square. Six. So differentiate with respect to x so is a constant. So zero. Now dou cube of by dou y cube. So this is nothing but what? So dou by dou y of dou squared of by dou y squared. For so, dou by dou y of dou squared of by dou y squared is six. So again, it is a constant. Differentiate y which is also zero. So this is a first order derivative, second order, and So this is a basic concept of partial derivatives. Well, in the problem, we have f f equal to x cube y minus 3x square minus 2y square minus 4y minus 3. The second question, f equal to again. These two functions are your functions of two independent variable x and y. So for that, you have to find out the so dou f by dou x dou f by the first order partial derivative, and these three are the second order partial derivative. And these four are the third order partial derivative. You take it as a homework. It is very much useful in the next topic, Taylor series expansion. Right?